We are healing, healing old wounds and trauma and all this other stuff that comes along with it. So I think that you're doing really good. You're doing really good with, with the things that you're implementing and and the things that you're doing in order to heal. And, yeah. And so I'm very proud of you. I mean, she was mentioning all these things and... Yeah, I was just, right now, I was just talking about, I'm healing myself right now. I, I'm trying to take my focus, I'm taking my, I'm not trying, I'm taking my focus off of the external world, but especially off of men. I'm decent, like, I want, I want to be the center of my life. I don't want men to be the center oh. of my life. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, I want to be the center of my own life. Yes. I don't want to constantly be, like, I'm not going to be constantly chasing, like, none, none of that, none of that. So, for me, I'm healing, I'm healing me, focusing on me and everything, and I'm also, I was telling mom that I also want to heal my perception of men, because in the past, recently, but in the past, um, you know, they were, they were constantly doing me dirty, constantly fucking doing me dirty, right? And, and it made me almost hate the existence <laughs> It almost made me, it, it really did turn into this hate kind of thing. And I realized I don't want to think that way. If I, if, if we really do create our world, if we really do, everybody has the power to create their life literally by their thoughts. Then I choose to think only good, loving things. But I do have to stop hanging around and stop uh, associating myself with the same people in the past that have hurt me because they're going to keep me in that same mindset of, oh, men are fucking, man, all men cheat and all that, like, that. they're going to keep me in that if I stay, if I stick around those same people that hurt me, if, you know what I mean, like, and I'm talking about males right now because, but, in general, so, starting to heal, like, what, how I'm going to start healing my perception of men is by getting away from the old ones, the, the other ones that, you know, they lost their chance, they're, all of that's gone. And also just starting a new belief. So only consuming content that up, uplifts, inspires, inspires motivates. Uh, yes. So, and that's with everything and anything, not just with that, but just with life and everything. Just really only listening to content and stuff like that that will benefit me. I, I, I only want good things. And so... And you are deserving of good things. Yes. You are deserving. Yes. It's, I love that you're taking time out for you. Yeah. You know, uh, today you implemented some things that is showing the universe that you're aligning with loving yourself 100%. And that is, of course, your journaling. And you took your walk. Yeah, you're, you're, walk. Doing your thing, you're doing things that, that pertain to you and, yeah. and getting yourself back together like you know in order yeah you know, yeah the healthy version of rhapsody yeah you know you're showing us a healthy version of you and so i love that you've been uh connecting with self and uh you know you've been doing like tarot and stuff like that trying to yeah. trying to understand yourself more and i love that you have been taking this time to actually yeah you know and i my therapist uh, she had gave me a book, and I, it's crazy, I, I like to think that I don't have emotions anymore, but I really do, though, um, I just kind of shut them out a little bit, but she gave me this book, and it's like, I think it's called Permission to Feel, and I started reading it, and, and it was talking about, like, people like me that are, like, I don't know, it, it's a really good book, it's a really good book so far, but I'm starting to open myself up again to my emotions. I'm starting to allow myself to feel again. And, you know, because sometimes that people become numb, I guess, in a way. But I'm starting to... And then I was listening to this, I guess, like, it wasn't a podcast, but it was, like, this talk. And he he was making some really good points where he was saying, like... Now, I don't know if I, be, I, don't know if I agree with it, but he was saying that... No amount of building good, and he's talking about trauma, right? 
No amount of really good will take away the old. You have to sit with yourself. He said if he has a cup and he pisses in it, no amount of sugar he adds to it is going to take away the piss, right? So he was basically saying with, when it comes to trauma, we really need to just sit. Because, yeah, we're implementing good things and that's good. But he said if, to get rid of or to, I, would, I guess I would use the word get rid of, I guess, I don't know, trauma you really have to sit with yourself. You really have to, he said, stare at a wall. Like, just literally just sit with yourself. Sit with yourself. Because, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm listening and I'm trying to implement little things to kind of heal myself and to be the best version. Because I want, I, I decided that I want to be the best version for me, for my loved ones, for God. Like, I, I want, I decide that I want to be the best self. And I deserve to be the best self. I, I think the ones around me that I love deserve the best version of me. They don't deserve the version that's sad or depressed or angry or, you know, all this other stuff. I just really want to, I don't know, be my best self. Version. Yes, I love it. Yeah. Be your best self, your healthiest self. Yeah. Your, the, the one that, that brings joy and, and, and life. To whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. And it's crazy because I showed someone an old picture of me. and Or not old, but it was just older. And they were like, I, um, I see you I see full of life. Like, you're, you're, you're full of life. And, and I can tell you, your energy is just so vibrant. I, don't, I haven't been feeling that way lately. Only because of, you know, the breakup and everything else. I kind of just, I feel like life kind of drained me a little bit and I, I haven't been feeling as up-spirited as I usually am but when he said when when he said that I was in that I was full of, like the picture looked like I was full of life and I was so happy and I, like just this positive energy I said I want to get back to that I want to I want to be a person so much someone I just need your pen I want to be a person that, like, my, like, I was so just bubbly, I, I was bubbly and fucking just this radiant energy around you, get around you, you just were happy, and I, of course, after, after being through some breakups, I just, like, slowly but surely, I felt like that wasn't me anymore, and I want to, I want to control that, I want to get back to being this, the happy person that I naturally am. You know, I'm naturally happy, I'm naturally bubbly, I'm naturally friendly, and I want to get back to that. I want to control, you know, I think that was one of the things that I, I enjoyed and I I love about your father is that he, he has so much beautiful energy and he was hype, you know, I say was because he, wonder. we don't see, uh, <laughs> that Pacific person in, is that as much? Yeah, I mean, he's still I get, there. He's still it. there, but we don't see it as much. But when I first met him, he was very hyper and very excited about telling us new things that <laughs> he encountered, and and he's just very, very, uh, and uh, very joyful with everything that he was doing and everything that he was saying to us. So I love that about, and then you, I can tell, like, you, like, in the family setting, you're the one that's always, like, hyper. I'm not going to say always, I'm not going to say always, <laughs> my, my youngest, she's in here looking at me. <laughs> no, but <laughs> she, but you could tell, like, Rhapsody does have, like, this bubbly smile and, and, and energy to, oh, to her. Yes, you are very bubbly, my dear. You you're are sexual. very bubbly. You're the sexual one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, She's a freak. I also wanted to mention um, with some of the things that you were saying that because <clears throat> you were giving us an example of what the guy had told you yeah. and you said you're not sure if you absolutely you know believe what he's saying, but um, but you shared that with us and I was I wanted to talk to us about um, beliefs and inner speech. 
It has a lot to do with your inner speech. What is it that you're telling yourself? What is it that you're uh, talking to yourself about? What are you communicating with yourself? You know, and it has a lot to do with your inner speech. So if you can change your inner speech into things that are more desirable or more, um, more into an alignment of what you would like to experience and would like to, uh, to receive more of, then that helps. So have a, a speak, like start talking to your inner self with like, the love that you're wanting with the, the, you know, the joy that you're wanting and, and start saying, you know, I, I love you so much, Michelle. Like you, you bring so much joy and light to my world and, and just really feel it and really, really, um, even if you have to just start with that, because you know, they say, uh, fake it till you make it. Um, you may not believe necessarily in that present moment, but still speak to yourself in a high manner and um, you'll start to really feel the sincerity of that love that you're giving your inner self. And so I would like to start with, like, you know, just start with that and um, be mindful of the things that you're, you're telling yourself that you believe in because um, is, is it serving you or is it, is it, or is it not serving you? And you have to figure out, okay, what I just spoke of, is it, is it, is it helping me any, uh, is it leveling me up or is it, you know, tearing me down? And so, so be mindful of what your, what your beliefs are. So you want them to be inspiring, uplifting and, and uh, motivating and stuff like that. So we want to stick to more of that kind of stuff, the stuff that's more inspiring, uh, uplifting and, and motivating you and your, you know, your surroundings. So just be mindful of that. I just wanted to mention that, you know, cause that's also important. Your inner speech, your inner, so it's like, you know, you, you go be, uh, in private with, you know, your inner God and what are you and your inner God talking about? You know what I mean? Let it be good stuff. Let it be let it be things you know you are worthy and deserving of. Yes. So I just thought to mention that. I just thought it was important. So if you got anything out of it, great. If you didn't, then you will eventually. Yeah. But we love you guys. Yes. Thank you guys for listening and watching. And um, continue to work on self. Yeah. Continue to work on yourself and, and bring joy and love to yourself. Uh don't focus more on the outside, trying to get the outside forces to, to give it to you. Embody it. Be that. Um, take time for yourself, first and foremost, and make sure you're embodying all those great things so that way the outside aligns with who you already are. I love you all. Have an amazing and wonderful day because you deserve it. And I know you're lying. <laughs>